So today I'm going to talk about my three uh, sleeping bags, actually two sleeping bags and a quilt. So from left to right, you can see my down sleeping bag, the first one I ever got. The middle one is my Gander Mountain synthetic sleeping bag, and it's warm. It's rated at zero degrees or something. And then the far right, that's my Katabatic quilt, which I'm going to use on the Appalachian Trail in 2020. So I wanted to talk about the evolution of sleeping bags into quilts and the weight factors. So this is my down sleeping bag, and the interesting thing about this was the treatment that they used on the feathers and down. <clears throat> So this treatment that they put on there, this tannidized treatment to the feathers and down, it's a new chemical treatment, offered greater loft and durability, reduced allergenic properties, odorless and dustless, mildew resistant, moth proof, and most important of all, laboratory tested. So, <laughs> What's cool about this sleeping bag is that it was bought in the 1970s when I was an explorer scout. And I actually carried the sleeping bag on my backpack on the Wilderness Trail in Michigan. And that trail is 21 miles long. So we did one overnight, slept in a pup tent, and then hiked back to the beginning of the trail in the next morning. And that sleeping bag is very, very warm, but it's heavy. And I'll go over the weights in a couple of minutes. The next sleeping bag, which is my Gander Mountain sleeping bag, and this sleeping bag is synthetic, but it's pretty, pretty big. And I'll go over the size of the sleeping bags also. Uh, this sleeping bag I only used in a hunting camp and is very warm, super warm, and I really like it. But I'm not going to carry this one on my back on the Appalachian Trail. So the last one, which is new, this is my Katabatic quilt. And again, I'll go over the weights and dimensions of this one in a minute. But it's super light, super warm. It's a 15 degree flex 15 wide six foot quilt. And this is a quilt that I'm going to be taking on the Appalachian Trail. And it stuffs into a small stuff sack, and it's very, very light. So now let's go over the dimensions of these three quilts, as well as the weight. All right, so the first sleeping bag is the down sleeping bag. And that, scientifically measured, was 10 by 10 by 16 inches. And it's number one there at the top. It weighed 10.9 pounds. Down sleeping bag weighed 10.9 pounds. Uh, I do have a liner inside of that, but the outer surface is, I guess you would call it some kind of cloth or canvas. So that's why it's pretty heavy. The second one, the Gander Mountain sleeping bag, which is this one, that one's number two on this list. And that one weighs 9.6 ounces and it looks like it's 14 by 18 and a half by 11 inches. And then the Katabatic quilt, which is this one, stuffs into a small stuff sack. And the size of that is 8 inches by 15 and a half inches by 8 inches. And it weighs a whopping 1.8 pounds in the stuff sack with the sleeping pad attachment cords. So it's pretty amazing, went from 10.9 pounds to 9.6 pounds to 1.8 pounds. And this small catabatic quilt is what I'm gonna be taking on the Appalachian Trail. You can actually almost see through the material and see the quilt stuffed in there. So that's pretty much the video from today. Just wanted to show you these three quilts and show you the evolution or evo yeah the evolution of sleeping bags if you enjoyed this video 
please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button if you liked it. And there's a little bell. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos when I release them. Thanks for watching.